Now, to take a further look at this challenge of migration, especially in the West African sub-region, I'm now being joined live from our Abuja studios by the International Organization of Migration Program Manager, Free Movement of Persons and Migration in West Africa, Mr. Franz Celestine. Good evening, Mr. Celestine. Good evening. Now, uh, let's begin with looking at a somewhat bigger picture. How really challenging is this issue of migration, particularly in the West Africa sub-region? Well, uh, migration itself is not a challenge uh, because, as you correctly pointed out uh, in your leading story, uh, people have been migrating for millennia. And uh, migration is uh, how civilization started, and a lot of innovation have come from uh, migration. Uh, the challenge and the problem usually comes, and sometimes, not, not always, from and the manner and the condition under uh, which uh, people migrate. There are millions of people who migrate uh, every year uh, to legal channels, but uh, the problem comes when uh, people migrate uh, without the proper documents or they migrate through uh, irregular means. Um, so that renders them vulnerable to uh, smugglers, to uh, uh, um, trafficking, and all sorts of uh, um, dangers that, that uh, can happen throughout their journey. So uh, uh, what we see uh, um, within the West African subregion, there are quite a few of uh, West African citizens that are looking elsewhere, that are moving, uh, migrating to Europe uh, to, to, to seek a better life. But it's not the case that uh, all of uh, uh, West African migrants are, are going. In fact, the vast majority of West African citizens uh, that, who choose to migrate, they do so within the region itself. Now, what, what, kind of, what kind of challenges do that pose? I mean, you talk now that and most of the visuals, the pictures, and so on that we see are those of West Africans headed for Europe. But now you've just talked about the fact that the vast majority actually migrate within the West African subregion. Now, there are those who raise the issues of security even within the West African subregion, the issue of porous borders and all this trafficking in arms and drugs and so on. How, within what you know from experience, how can this best be tackled without stopping? what would naturally be a normal phenomenon amongst human beings? Well, uh, what, what it requires, it requires uh, the frontline officers to have the necessary training, uh, for them to have the necessary, necessary equipment to detect uh, um, and, and to, to uh, prevent uh, what you referred to uh, possibly as uh, irregular migration, trafficking of small arms, and trafficking of human beings. So uh, the poorest borders are an issue, and, and this is what we need to address. It's not the movement of people themselves that, that, that cause the problem, but uh, there, there are many different uh, criminal elements that uh, move within any given uh, group of people uh, that, that, that uh, cause uh, these uh, um, security issues. So. Um, Free movement itself is not the problem because uh, the fact that uh, you are uh, moving freely doesn't mean you're moving without inspection. Uh, the fact that uh, you, uh, you're moving, there's free movement of p persons and also goods and services, but these are still subject to inspection. Anybody who's moving within the ECOWAS space has to possess a valid travel document that would allow an immigration officer or any frontline officer to inspect that person to make sure that he or she is who they say they are. Uh, so uh, porous borders uh, is the problem. Uh, having the necessary human resources and the financial resources to, to man these borders is uh, one of the key uh, to prevent uh, and, 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 and necessarily prosecute the criminal elements that may use uh, the fact that they, they, some of these borders are not meant to, to, uh, to smuggle persons, to traffic uh, uh, um, contraband into uh, various countries. Now, uh, in just 30 seconds, I'll have to ask you to make your answer brief. What do you make of the proposal to set up uh, a migration academy? Uh, 
I, I have not seen that proposal, uh, so therefore I, I cannot comment on it. Thank you very much, Mr. Franz Celestine. Thank you so much for joining us on the News at 10.